All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about what needs to be replaced when doing a cam swap. So we've got all the parts laid out here on the table for a basic DOD delete and a Gen 4 LS. This is actually for a 6.2. So there's several variations of what you're actually going to need, uh, depending on what you're doing. Uh, 5.3s and 6.2s, you can get away with a couple different things. Uh, this particular setup is a VVT delete. Because it's a 6.2, it does not have AFM or DOD. If you haven't already, check out our video on what AFM and DOD is, what VVT is, and what the benefits of deleting those are for an LS engine. This particular job is a 6.2 liter out of a Yukon Denali. We've got a BTR Stage 2 truck cam. Of course, we're starting with that. Uh, we'll start with the cam. Now, your typical cam kit is going to come with your cam, your springs, and usually a set of push rods, a set of valve seals. So that's usually all you're going to see in a basic cam kit is are those three things right there. Now when we do our cam kits, we replace everything that's laid out on this table. Now we've got a couple different variants of parts. We've got stock head bolts versus ARP head bolts. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, one of the first things we're going to talk about, we'll talk about this camshaft particularly. This is a stage 2 truck cam. So it's going to be a 212-218 duration with a 553-553 lift on a 111 lobe separation angle. This cam does work relatively well with a stock torque converter. We've got a set of BTR stock replacement push rods, new valve seals, and a set of 560 Beehive springs. Now we will put all the part numbers to this in the, in the description. And if you're looking for a full kit it comes with everything that's on this table. You can go to our website, 727motorsports.net. We're direct dealers for BTR, so you guys can select the camshaft you want, the supporting mods you may need. Send us a message if you have any questions. Let's keep going. Now this is one thing I think cam kits should come with, but that's your lifters. We typically run these on non-performance applications. We've ran them on some performance applications as well. They're uh, the BTR Delphi. LS7 lifters always do new trays, lifter trays. This is a cheap replacement part. And it can save you a lot of money in the long run. This is a pretty detrimental part that I like to replace too. A lot of people will reuse these. But I, we even replace the bolts. I don't even like reusing the bolts. The reason I don't like reusing these is especially on a high mileage motor. This seal right here. You can't really see it in the video, but you'll be able to feel feel the lip on that seal. And high mileage motors, they tend to wear out and be flat there, and then they'll leak. Let's see if we got one over here. See the lip on that thing. Yeah, when we do our camera retainer plates, we always do new bolts too. Um, as you can tell, they've got some thread locker on them from the factory. Got us a new GM crank bolt. I said on this thing, this is just a cam only truck, daily driver, so you're going to see a lot of stock replacement parts in here. It's the stock GM crank bolt. Just going to get rid of that raggedy old time and chain tensioner in there and put a wishbone style in it. Of course, we got a new timing set. Now, what we've got here is, being as this is Gen 4, it has to be a 4 pole or 4X. This is for a 58X crank signal, but it's a cam gear. And we're converting it from 1 bolt to 3 bolt when we're de deleting the VVT in it. So this cam gear, it's got our 4X notches and it's 3 bolt. We got a new set of BTR cam gear bolts. We got a new BTR timing chain. Now as we keep moving on, we always do an oil pump when we do a cam swap. Alright, so this is the Melling 10296. If you get on forums or groups or watch a lot of videos, this is the oil pump everybody's going to tell you you need. Um, for something like we're building here, I typically run a GM Performance Pump or a Melling 10295. The GM Performance Pumps and the 295s are uh, they're a higher volume, 
or they're high pressure but low volume. When you start moving a lot of volume, you start scavenging the oil pan at high RPM. Uh, you got to be careful. They're beneficial in like turbo applications and really high performance applications where you're running a little extra oil in the pan. I just find them as overkill for your typical daily driver with a cam in it. Some people are going to disagree on that. We sell a ton of GM performance pumps. We've installed a ton of them. That's what comes in their performance application cars, their performance application cars from the factory. And it is a step up above a regular stock truck oil pump that would come in a, a pickup truck. But this guy for this particular build did buy ARP head bolts and a milling 296. So we're going to put the 296 in there for him. I'm not saying don't run a 296, but I'm saying if you're camming your truck that you daily drive and it's a cam only build, you don't need to spend the extra on the 296 when the 295 works just fine. That's what I'm getting at. Moving on, we've got the head bolts. Now these are the 134, 36 tenths. Hopefully this is the right set. Need to open these up and check them. There's two different size, two different style head bolts for LS. There's a long and a short. 97 to 03. All the bolts are pretty long except for the two ends and then your little 10 mils of course. On the 04 to 07, those two short end bolts, all the head bolts are that length. So that's one thing to be, be aware of. Being as this is a Gen 4 application, we're going to need the all short bolts. Now, like I said, this customer did opt up and get the ARP head bolts for this. A cam only build, what we would typically run is the BTR 2004 and up head bolt kit. It takes two of these to do an engine, one per side, and they're substantially cheaper than ARP and if you're going performance you're trying to chase some numbers at the track or on the dyno or you're going to beat the hell out of something definitely go ARP stock daily driver just your family ride stock would be just fine moving on we've got our valve cover gaskets always replace your valve cover gaskets when doing an LS swap or when doing a cam swap set of water pump gaskets new crank seal we do have a new front cover here, so we've got a set of bolts to go with that. We've got a VBT to non-VBT adapter harness from BP Automotive. Great little product right there. There's our front cover. It's a LS2 front cover, LS2 style front cover, or LS3 front cover. And if you notice, there's no VBT on here, so this is going to get our cam sensor close enough to our non VVT cam gear to where we have a cam signal and of course we've got a new gasket for it as well and then over here we've got new exhaust manifold gaskets from BTR they are the multi-layered steel don't use the perforated ones we've got our BTR oil pan gasket Another fundamental piece. And we've got our head gaskets for 6062 LS. And these are labeled as LS3 head gaskets. Now, one thing I do want to point out and explain is a lot of these gaskets that you're going to get from BTR are going to be GM gaskets. BTR packaging. Um, a ton of their parts are are actual GM GM parts. We've got a GM part number on the lifter trace. They even tell you on the package they're Chevrolet Performance Lifter Tray Guides. But instead of buying one of them, BTR puts them together in a package deal. Oil pump, if you buy a mailing oil pump, your oil pump's gonna come with the pickup tube O-rings that you need. Uh, there will be two different ones in there and there will be a small instruction manual that will tell you which one will fit your application and your pickup tube. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about that is on this table right now is a trunnion upgrade. We are going to upgrade the stock rockers, do away with the limited stock trunnions and upgrade to the BTR trunnion. This is the pretty entry level trunnion kit. It's nothing crazy but it's a major step above stock. Now if you're doing an AFM or a DOD delete, there's going to be a, one of two components you're going to need that are not here right now. And that's either the CBI streetcars 
DOD plugs for the AFM towers. They kind of look like little bullets, little pills. You need a set of those or you need a non-AFM DOD valley cover. Now we don't have that here because the truck that this stuff is going on is a 6.2 so it's non-AFM from the factory. So it has the valley cover we need. Uh, we do need a valley cover gasket however. I think we've got several Gen 4 ones here. But we'll get one of those laid out with these parts too. Now it is possible to do the cam swap without pulling the valley cover. I like to use it to help me align my cam up and get my cam gear and stuff on. So we'll, we'll get one of those gaskets. I'll put the part number in the description of this. I think the only other thing that we're missing here at the moment is the plug that goes in the oil pan. We block off the oil bypass valve that's in the oil pan. If I'm not mistaken, it's an M14 by 150 bolt. Various drain plugs fit it. I usually go get a hydraulic fitting plug from the farm parts store, and that's what we use. Uh, but we'll block that off in the oil pan as well. That's something you'll want to do. And then this customer also got a new oil pressure sensor. So not a bad thing not huge on the parts store ones i like ac delco but we'll replace this for him and give it a shot and of course this thing comes with the little screen that goes underneath it that's going to cover pretty much everything you need to do a vbt delete on a non-afm engine uh, we may do a video on one that has afm and kind of break down those parts as well but like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment, send us an email, or go to our website. You can contact us through there as well. We sell complete kits for DOD and VBT deletes. We sell complete kits for Gen 3 LS cam swaps. Uh, they come with everything you need, including the oil pump, pickup tube ball rings, oil pan gasket, all that stuff. But we hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching. Remember, if you're not following us, grab that button.